some photos of the outside. Here's a video walking around. Very great little boat. It rides really high, which is nice and chop. Great trailer too. You don't need to wide load or anything like that. A little tall, so you do need to watch out for low bridges. Obviously kept in a barn all winter. It's way better than shrink wrap. Although I never, I don't even know if you need shrink wrap with this, given that it's a, it's a pilot house anyway. That's it. Okay, here's a little tour of the Mary Fisher, 695 Marlin, the Yamaha 175 on the back. Here's the cockpit area, a rear driving system. You can switch to this from the front. Really nice while you're fishing in the back. So back, if you want to go fishing, there's a ton of um, areas for poles here and here. This part actually collapses flat once you put the engine down, but it just helps when you put the engine up to keep you shorter. So you fit most marinas. Uh, here's your live well back here. Works great. Also works great as a cooler. Um, Looking at the back, so these are actually seats that I did. It used to go out to here, but it was a really shallow seat. It wasn't comfortable at all. Um, and we were using this more for cruising uh, than fishing. Um, so what we did is we actually made this out of starboard. It's, it's nice and thick. You can see here. Um, and we shaped it all the way up to here. And we bought custom cushions that fit around. We actually still need to buy a custom cushion for right here. Um, but we found that it was just totally fine. So, And then we also put in this custom table, um, which is great. So you can easily, you can easily sit around this table. So to finish the table, we, we did this so you can really fit easily, kind of one, two, maybe three in the corner, and then one, two over here adults. And then we actually even just have little folding chairs or a cooler with a top on it. We would sit here. And that way you could sit around this table. It was really nice. Um, if it ever got in the way, you could easily fold up and go in half to make a cocktail table. Um, and that's how we would run it. So that way you can, it's not, it's not tight to get in here at all. Um, so you could easily put it up like this. And then we actually even got an adjustable pedestal down here so you can lower it um, and once it's lowered it's actually the same height as uh, these benches so uh, conceivably you could have just a big sun area uh, back here we have never did that because we ended up just eating it all the time um, so here's the cockpit. This is a great part of what we loved. Um, here's a little jump seat. There's a cushion for this. You can just ratchet this up. Um, yeah, there's kind of two, whatever, uh, you know, nice seats for driving. Uh, full sink that works. Refrigerator that works. A nice dry storage area for your registration, cleaning supplies, and we kept like a backup battery generator in there. Um, you know, your three battery switches down here, your fuse box, um, this great little cuddy up here. I think maybe you could sleep on a Dalton here if we're being completely honest. There's some storage in here. Um, and then, but for kids, it's great. So you can chunk them up there. They'll be really happy out of the, um, out of the weather. That's a port window that opens. This is a full bath. Um, and it's it's small and tight and stuff, but it's not it's not bad. Um, little bathroom holder or uh, filter roller we installed. I think you can actually pump out too if you happen to live in or get offshore enough to do that. Um, 
but it's a real toilet. So it's, you know, a vacuum, right? I don't know if it's a vacuum flusher, it's Jabsco. Um, and you pump it out of the sides. So like, I think you can see it. It's like right, it's right there. You just suction on one of those. Um, and that's also the fresh water system. So you have a black water system, a fresh water system. Um, works pretty great. Other cool thing in here is there's a table that somehow these guys fit to the ceiling. And you can um, set this here for a second. You can lower this table. And it becomes a nice kind of So I don't know if you can see what I did there, but you lower this table, these seats swing around, and it's nice, it's like a little cocktail area. And obviously this is the slider, you can lock the slider in place, uh, which is nice for where you're going. One of the things I love, being the driver, you can open up the door next to you, and you can lock it in place. A lot of air, and then a nice big sunroof. You can completely open up a lot of air. That's actually a spotlight that you can control right here, which is really nice. Um, and then another window you can open up over here. So even though it's a pilot house, it would feel pretty nice in the summertime. Um, and you can obviously open up that window up there, but I wouldn't suggest that when you're moving because um, yeah, it's, it's short. You can have waves come up over. So just stepping out of the captain's door, um, you know, easy access to the back, nice and high for little kids. Um, you step up up here, and there's actually a little seat up here on the back. Um, we never really used this, uh, but it was nice to have. Um, you know, if you have anybody swimming or just want to have a separate area to sit down or kids can play up here. And then we have a windlass, which was awesome. Um, so nice, huge storage locker um, and a really nice windlass. You control it right there. Um, and then I guess showing you guys the top of the boat, there's the spotlight right there. Quite nice. Um, and there's the radar. Um, so this thing kind of has it all. Um, these are where you suck out your head and where you um, pump in your fresh water. And then obviously there's grab rails here. I actually toyed with putting a roof rack on the top of this. I'm pretty sure you can. Um, great pole holders in the back here um, to keep your poles way up and out of the way. Um, and that's about it, but this is a great boat for running around uh, and man, bad weather, closing all the windows and getting inside. We had waves hitting the windshields um, and it was just, you know, the water just goes, you know, right down here and out or it goes right down here and right out the back. Um, so a really nice boat for, for weather. Um, swim ladder. And a little platform over there. And I think that is, um, that is about it. I just forgot to get the hours. Looks like 377.6 hours, I believe on the Yamahas here. Um, electronics, nice fusion stereo system. You got a compass here. Um, you've got a low Rance navigation system here. Thanks for in a barn somewhere, which we are. You got a sim right here, which is awesome. So it was really nice having two screens. I'd usually have one zoomed out, one zoomed in. Um, and then this sim red system, I guess just booting up, but you've got radar, you got a nav chart, you got a nav chart kind of where you're going. And then you have, I guess it's like a fish finder, but you have all the tides, you have all sorts of stuff. It's, it's a really nice system. Um, and then you have chargers here um, for phones. I can get that open later. Um, 12 volt charging system right there. Um, I just forgot my favorite thing the bow thruster. So nice. Here's where you change over to your back steering wheel if you want. Um, there's windshield wipers. They don't work. There's like springs on them that I guess need to replace. They never work for me. I use Rainex on the uh, front, and that worked way better than windshield wipers ever would. So that's what I would suggest using. These are all little cup holders. Um, the bilge works great. And uh, the stereo is good too. There's some nice speakers in here. 
Um, a lot of times we'd have a Bluetooth system, you know, Bluetooth thing anyway, because it'll start to sound better. But, um, but yeah, that is the tour of the Mary Fisher. Enjoy.